Okay, I'm gonna keep it real, you guys. I've been around long enough, so we're friends now, and I know I'm not fooling anyone. So yeah, right now there is no significant threat of asteroids destroying the planet, black holes swallowing Earth, or solar flares engulfing us in flames. But I think it's safe to say that it's human nature to fear the unknown. So let's check out a few unknowns that even making sense of doesn't lend much clarity to. First on our list today, we have the South Atlantic Anomaly, also known as the Bermuda Triangle of Space, which, much like its eponym counterpart, has been responsible for many strange happenings as well as dangerous circumstances within its parameters. Now, while the reasonings behind the many disappearances of ships and planes within the Bermuda Triangle remain highly debated but ultimately unknown, the dangerous terrain of space's version has recently adopted itself a scientific explanation, which I will share with you now the best that I can. So basically surrounding Earth, there are two belts stacked on top of one another. The innermost is filled with high energy protons and the outermost is made up of mainly electrons. These belts are held into place by Earth's magnetic field and play an extremely important role in protecting the Earth from particles shooting out from the surface of the sun, which can cause harmful radiation. Well, the thing is, at the point of the South Atlantic anomaly, the intensity of the magnetic field holding the belts in their place decreases, leaving an area of extreme vulnerability to satellites, spacecrafts, and any other equipment. Basically, anything that passes through the region will experience extreme radiation to the point of some serious damage. Okay, this one's not so much dark as it is exciting. I bet you thought that Mars was the most likely planet to inhabit life other than Earth, of course. But if you thought that, you'd be wrong. Or maybe you'd be right, as the most likely place in which life exists within our solar system outside of our own planet isn't actually a planet. It's a moon. More specifically, Europa, one of Jupiter's largest moons. While the presence of oceans beneath its icy surface have been confirmed, it is predicted by scientists and astronomers that deeper still, the moon contains geothermal vents, providing heat to the waters and possibly playing host to thousands of life forms. Some other cool things about Europa is that not only is it covered in oceans, but its waters act incredibly similarly to our own, producing 10 times more oxygen than hydrogen, which combined with all of the other factors in which we have just discussed, make the existence of life on this planet extremely scientifically promising. What do you guys think? Could this be the first case of real aliens coming to us in the form of single-celled organisms? And next on the list we have Lovejoy, the alcoholic comet that wanted a drink so bad it made its own. Not like at the bar, but it literally made its own alcohol, cosmically. Thought to be nothing more than just a regular comet glowing white hot, leaving behind a trail of space dust, Lovejoy has proved itself to be a whole lot more when in 2015 it decided to do a quick fly by the sun. When this happened, the 250 meter comet began doing something that had, until then, never been seen before. It began spewing alcohol at a rate that would satisfy an entire campus of frat houses. It is estimated that the comet released ethyl alcohol at a rate of 500 bottles of wine per second. Now this is already super cool, but it does get cooler. Because all jokes aside, along with the ethyl alcohol, the comet also produced large amounts of sugar as well as organic molecules, which when you mix them all together are the building blocks of DNA. Another instance in which we are possibly witnessing the beginning stages of life beyond the barriers of our own earthly existence. Moving on from C2H5, the chemical formula for ethyl alcohol, we have CO2. Not ours though, as scientists have recently discovered a large presence of carbon dioxide as well as methane gas and water vapor outside of our own solar system surrounding K218b, an exoplanet that is 8.6 times the size of our Earth. So what makes this interesting? This is the first time CO2 has been discovered outside of our solar system. Just another indication that we really don't know all that much about what goes on within the vastness of space. The planet, as well as the presence of gases and liquids, was not technically discovered by a satellite, rather a space telescope orbiting the sun 1 million miles away from Earth. 
so close enough. This discovery not only shows how powerful this piece of technology is, but yet another possible life-bearing planet as the presence of methane and CO2 and water are also all potential indications of such existence. At the halfway point, we are keeping it light with the discovery of Pluto's slug, a slug-shaped object making its way across the planet's icy surface known as the Sputnik Planum. The surface, not the object, they just call that Pluto slug. Okay, now that you're all caught up, it's time for me to break the news. What looks like a giant slug making its way through the tundras of Pluto's frozen wastelands has actually been determined to be nothing more than an iceberg. Well, kind of. Rather, it's a floating block of water sitting on top of and sliding its way through the denser solid nitrogen which surrounds it. Not scary, but pretty cool. And there's some pretty neat stuff going on in this area that has nothing to do with the so-called slug as well. You may notice in the photographs, Sputnik Planum is covered in little bumps and ridges all across its surface. And that's because this particular area on Pluto is almost acting as a giant icy lava lamp. An oxymoron, I know, but hear me out. The ice on Pluto's surface is super nitrogen heavy, and Pluto's surface generates heat. That heat pushes the ice up, but when it cools, it sinks down to warm up again, up and down, thus creating the bumpy ridges that decorate the planum plains. So that was cool, but let's get back on track because next up we have the Cosmic Keyhole, perhaps one of the most perplexing nebulas discovered to date. Beautiful, yes. Stunning, yes. Understandable, not at all. The Cosmic Keyhole is a reflection nebula, meaning it's part of debris left behind from the cataclysmic event of star formation. Like a cloud of dust surrounding a street lamp, reflection nebula are lit up by the bright star whose creation gave way to their existence. While reflection nebula are normal and common spectacles throughout countless galaxies, this one is strange, and you can probably guess why. It's the massive amount of empty space directly at its center. At first, scientists believed this to be a Bach globule, which is a freezing cold, dense cloud of gas, molecules, and cosmic dust that blocks out background light. But they have since realized that it's not the case. In fact, the keyhole is something entirely different. It's actually nothing at all. The dark patch observed is nothing more than a completely empty region of space, never seen before unexplainable and incredibly bizarre. Now, I was going to mention black holes, but let's be honest, if you wanted to learn more about those, you'd be watching one of our many other videos specifically dedicated to the subject. Today, we're keeping it fresh, light, and light years away. Well, I'm lying again, because next up we have asteroid 2023 TK15, which passed by Earth at a distance of, not light years, but in fact, a distance closer to that of our very own moon, making it the closest a space rock of this magnitude has ever been to the surface of Earth. Well, since, you know, the whole dinosaur thing. Too soon? Okay, the passing took place on Friday, October 20th of 2023, and absolutely nothing happened. Well, no, it was an incredible astronomical event that gave both scientists, astronomers, and all asteroid enthusiasts a lot to talk about at dinner parties. And hey, once again, we've survived the end of the world. Starting off our top three, we have the totally not at all terrifying magnetic explosions. Cool, cool, cool. So I'll put it to you this way. It happens every day, probably multiple times a day, and nothing happens. Well, something does happen, but I'll tell you in a bit. First, let me explain exactly what a magnetic explosion is. So, the Earth is surrounded by a magnetic field, which protects it from all kinds of things, as we discussed earlier, and it's called the magnetosphere. The Sun has something called solar winds, which are basically just a stream of charged particles that flow out from its fiery surface. When the solar winds, which contain their own magnetic energy, push against Earth's magnetic field, they tangle until eventually they don't. And they come out of it by snapping back and realigning themselves. And that action is what causes the magnetic explosion. Good news, nothing bad happens to us. Great news, something really cool happens. While the explosion is not visible to the naked eye, its effects are, as when the explosion happens, they tend to send tiny particles into our atmosphere, which manifest as none other than the auroras, of which there are actually at least 27, and the most popular is Aurora Borealis, commonly known as the Northern Lights. Next up, we have the Traveler. Not an alien, again, that's another video, but it is out of this world. And not just out of this world, but out of this solar system. 
and before it too. The foreign object was discovered on October 19th in 2007 and obviously was something no one had ever seen before. It was originally believed to be a comet, but that was incorrect, as it did not exhibit any behavior that would classify it as such. It was determined to be a space rock that had found its origins in a solar system completely separate from our own and that had been roaming the cosmos for long before our own system's creation too. Not much else is known about the object other than it's currently in our solar system, but it does continue to be monitored. Oh, and it has a name too, O Mau Mau, which is a Hawaiian term meaning a messenger from afar arriving first. So what do you think? Is it a sign that the floodgates have opened for objects from outside solar systems to begin encroaching on our own? Let me know. And finally, we have Hell Planet. No, not this planet. This planet. Also known as Exoplanet 55 Cancer E, this planet, which resides 40 light years away outside of our own solar system and hopefully plans on staying there, has a mass of about 8.36 times that of Earth and a diameter of about twice the size. It's pretty big. But wait, there's more. Because it's also on fire. And not only that, but it's mostly made up of diamonds. There's a lot going on. The planet is obviously uninhabitable for many reasons, among them being the fact that this planet's temperatures range from anywhere between 4,200 degrees to 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,400 to 1,300 degrees Celsius. The highest temperatures are reached on the side of the planet, which exists in perpetual daylight due to the way the planet orbits around its sun, but even the lowest temperatures which occur on its dark side are still unfathomably hot. Count me out of this SpaceX journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to share it with your friends, like, subscribe, up to you. I've been your host, Hannah, and I will see you with the next one.